Hey everybody, it's Danny, the Wicked Awesome Gardener, coming at you from the Wicked Awesome Grow Room. Today, I'm going to try something a little bit out of my comfort zone and a little bit different. It wasn't something that I'd planned to do, but I did a fun activity with some friends of mine today, and it's kind of led to this. Look at these beautiful tulips. I'm a member of a couple of local theater groups and during the pandemic one of those groups the moms started getting together during the pandemic for some outdoor visits and things like that just to kind of keep social and have some fun I'm not only a mom of one of the children that participates in the theater group I also participate on stage myself we like to call ourselves the drama mamas <laughs> but we've gotten together a few times during the pandemic just you know, chairs on the lawn at the library type of thing. And it has been really great for everybody's sanity. And thankfully things are starting to open up. I'm back to live theater. That's so much fun, but we're still getting together. And today we decided to go to a local tulip field and pick some tulips. And I really had a great time. colors. Oh, the cool thing that we did not expect was when the young man at the tulip farm told us that if we picked a tulip and we pulled it up and it happened to have the bulb still attached, that we could keep that bulb for free. This tulip field was meant to be a one and done. Everybody come and pick your tulips, use them for photos, things like that. And then they're going to turn that bed over next week and plant sunflowers for fall photos and cut flowers. We really had no plans to save the tulip bulbs on a large scale for planting later. I've been told that if you store them correctly and plant them in the fall that you can get them to rebloom. So I'm gonna give that a shot. Mind you, again, I am a veggie gardener. I am not so much a flower gardener. This is very new to me, but I'm gonna make a pretty little display. I don't own a vase, so we have just a large cup. But I'm going to put these in water and then I'm going to attempt to save these bulbs. But I thought I would take you along while I prep them for storage. I'll show you when I plant them out in the garden in the fall, uh, probably mid-October, so that they get in before the freeze. And we'll see if they come up again in the spring. But first, we're going to make something pretty. Seriously, these colors are gorgeous. Once he told us that it was okay to take the bulbs, it was kind of game on. And uh, I gotta say, I definitely did not have the touch. I would have them almost out and then they would snap. But there we go, there's one. Oh guys, I think I just found a weird anomaly. Check this out. This is not a petal, this is a leaf. But the leaf has some of the tulip color. That is so weird. Now, when we are preparing these, we're going to get rid of all this dirt as much as we can. And we are not going to snip it here because there's still a lot of energy in these leaves. And we want that to go down and be stored in that bulb. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm going to snip here at the stem. This is a really pretty double bloom. It's a bit spent, I know, but I didn't get them down into the water right away. 
see how many bulbs I got. Not a lot. <laughs> There's another good one. That's good. And look at that. Oh, that pretty, pretty, pretty pink. I am not much at flower arranging, honestly. So this is going to look great. And as I said, these were already fairly spent. That's cool. leaves that I'm cutting off I'll put into my compost bin. Oh. And this bulb I just found sitting on top of the soil and I think it's actually two bulbs so we'll separate those. can see there's the bulb. I'm just going to snip there. Ta-da! My flower arranging skills are not great. They're a little more red than they appear here and this is a bit more purple but those are so pretty. This one's really neat too. <laughs> so we'll put those aside. We're going to get as much of the dirt off as we can because we don't want it holding on to moisture. They were in a pretty heavy Lay like soil, I'll tell ya. Now, I haven't read anything about if I need to snip these roots off, so I don't know. We'll leave these leaves for the energy to go down into the roots. It's pretty clean. This one is a little baby. So this one didn't even flower this year. It just kind of grew up and made a single leaf before we pulled it. And it's almost like the baby was having a baby. So we're going to leave that. It may not even flower next year, but it might flower the year after that. So maybe this is a 2023 tulip. We'll see. This one looks like it's got some rot going on. So this one may be done. Oh yeah, that's that's got some rot. Um, I'm thinking this one. Oh wow, yikes. That one's done. Whoop, this one has a bunch of ants in it. But it doesn't appear rotten. And it does appear like it is, in fact, more than one bulb. It's, it's almost like a garlic clove. So I am going to break this up because these appear to be separate bulbs. And again, they might not flower for while, but I'm going to try drying them out anyway and see what we get. Yeah, there were several little baby tulips in there. This must have been the mother plant. Looks like it's got a little damage on there, but I'm going to dry it and I'm going to throw it in the ground. We'll see what we get. I don't know. I am learning about tulips, guys. I'm just learning, so... If I don't have it right, oh well. Looks like there's probably more than one in here too, but I'm just gonna kind of leave it as is. So I'm going to lay them out here for about a week, probably more like two weeks, just to make sure they are nice and dry because if you have any moisture retained in them, they are going to mold and mildew 
while they're in storage, they're just gonna rot out. Once they've had a chance to dry out properly, we're going to store them inside a paper bag and you can put things like sphagnum moss or even some potting soil in there as well to keep a barrier between the bulbs because if one of them rots out, you don't want it touching another one and causing that to rot out. And if you have a little bit of a barrier in between them, that very much helps, but you can store them just in one layer at the bottom of a paper bag and you wanna keep them somewhere cool and dark and dry. I'm choosing my pantry because my house will stay between 65 and 75 degrees all summer long because of the air conditioning, yay. If it gets over say 80, 85 degrees or if it goes you know, under 60, they don't tend to do very well, they just kind of die off. So we wanna keep them dark and cool and dry until it comes time to plant about a month before our last frost. So I'm probably going to plant these somewhere in mid-October. But for the moment, I've got this beautiful array of flowers to enjoy. And yeah, my arranging skills may not be up to par, but oh, they smell so good and they're just so pretty. All right, guys, wish me luck with those tulips. All you moms out there have a wonderful Mother's Day and thanks for coming along while we grow something wicked awesome from yard to table. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, please click here for more content. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date on our latest videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really excited to go through this journey with you while we grow something wicked awesome from yard to table.